Hello everyone. Welcome to WGK Glass Art. Hope everyone is well. Today, Sandra will be making a puffin, a standing puffin. And if you haven't seen this cute little guy on our website, please go ahead and check it out. WGKglass.com. I think it is the cutest puffin ever. It can stand in two different positions and I just adore it. Right? I'm sure you can. That one was the first one. Yeah. We've been making the hanging puffin for, I don't know, about five years now? Or more? Yeah, more. Four? Yeah. More. So about six years. You can also find yeah. the puffin in flight, even though they don't really fly. They do a little. They they get they get off the ground. <laughs> well, yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> right now, Sandra is. What are you doing? I'm okay. still preparing. Yeah. Okay. We need a little bit of orange. For the, the, the feet and uh, on, the, on the beak. Okay. Um, so I have to pull a bit of, of that color in a thinner material that I can use. Um, and then I also put on a bit of the blue because I need that for the eyes. And I think I used it all. So this is part of the preparation that you have to do before you start on a piece. If the material that you have in stock is too thick, just pull it in. It costs you a bit of time, but it's worth it because you can work much more better, much more easy. Um, when you are on the piece itself in the end. Um, this is the blue, and then we can put on the black already. And I just need a small piece of blue, just enough for the eyes. Enough already. So those are the colors. And then I need to cut a, cut that white because the bed is a bit too long to work with. So. Who would ever have thought that breaking glass in half would be allowed? Yeah, well, sometimes if you don't want to work with such a piece, it, it's more difficult. It would be more difficult because on, on one hand, you, you would have to, your hand has to hold it always in a, that it just lays on there in, in the middle, kind of. So if it's longer, of course, your arm would be far more there, and then you would have a problem balancing it on when right. you work with it. So the, the closer you can go, the, the better you can direct what you are doing, of course. Um. So the piece of white glass that Sandra just cut in half, she put on the preheater, which will make it soft enough, soft enough to work with um, once she gets it onto the torch or works with it on the torch. So as usual, she'll start with the body. Yep. It starts with black and then um, it's usually that I start with black. You could also start with white because it's half white, half white, half black. So um, there is really no big difference. There's probably no Alex. 
There's really no big difference? Um, yeah, there's no, no big difference really in, in uh, if you start with a white or if you start with a black. Okay, because it's all within the body, it's so. Yeah. And the body always looks like a little ball, a little um, oval ball. Yeah, kind of. So I have flattened that a bit. This is the side where I want to attach the white. This is just to give me some direction. And also it marks a bit of that spot and how much I want to attach on there. white so the belly has been formed I know you guys can't see much of the white glass right now because it's glowing within the front in the flame yeah I still need to really give it a bit of a shape right now it's a big messy blob um, and it still needs to uh, I give that it usually when you put in more heat it just goes round it it just it always forms to a, a ball somehow mm -hmm. so this is it so far now I can put it a bit and you see it gets that first bit of shape that we need How did I do it? Oh, okay. So for the standing one, I want to give it a nice curvy shape down there. And then I'm attaching the tail. So as you guys can see, there are no molds that are used. However, there are a few tools that we use to make designs within the glass. Like Sandra just used the tweezers there to yep. make little prints um, in the tail. Yeah, those are the, the tweezers for the, for, the, for the structure in there. And then I have these measures and a flat pedal. Um, and this is to take stuff off that I don't need on the glass. So this is really all I have over here. And that I use during this project. Oh, I think I need that needle. Um, I don't know what, what it's called. Yesterday I knew. <laughs> Is that the ballpoint pin? No, no, not that thing. Uh, that's uh, the one, the, the, the rake. Okay. Probe thing. Right now we'll call it a thing. 
<laughs> a thingy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you imagine when you want to look on Google for a thingy? For thingy. Well, it is a noun. It is. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he even shows up. <laughs> right. I remember one year we were applying for a show and to submit the credit card for payment, you had to submit it through entry thingy. And I'm oh. like, is that really a thing? Is that a thing? <laughs> entry thingy. I thought that was so funny. Mm. So you guys can see the back side of the puffin, which is the black side. The tail is in the back and the belly is white, of course. And the little stubby legs have already been formed. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, it's really just the foot left. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching our video. If you like what you're seeing, please hit the subscribe button below. And also take a look at our website, wgkglass.com. Again, make sure you hit the subscribe button to watch our daily videos of our creations that we make here and see what new ideas we come up with and stay up to date on what's going on here at WGK Glass Art Studio. And again, our website is wgkglass.com. It is interesting. I love those big feet. We have to think of a name for this one. You think so? Mm -hmm. Should we call it Waddle? <laughs> <laughs> there was Lila for the purple dichroic hummingbird. Yeah, it was. We have to think of a name for, for the puffin, for the standing puffin. Well, we can always ask our friends and fans. I think that's a great idea. Leave some comments below what you guys think the name of, of the puffin should be. I guess once it's completely made, you'll be able to give it a name. <laughs> it's <probably> interesting. <laughs> you hear how much fun we're having? <laughs> I always love penguins, and this is so close to penguins. Penguin, right. Um, I always had fun doing penguins because I could visualize them standing in line. And then they had all kinds of expressions in right. their faces. Silly. Which kind of cool. Yeah. Silly, bored, all the kinds of expressions. <laughs> I loved it so I much. remember the penguins. Some of them had um, ski mask glasses on and scarves, oh, yes. and they would be skiing. They were, they were oh, we missed too. those. We should bring those back. Yeah, we should. We should at least do a series with the with the one with the glasses. Let's do that. This was so cool. Let's do that. You guys stay tuned for our series of penguins. Years ago, I mean years ago, maybe twelve years ago. It was a while ago. Yeah, yeah quite, we used to do long. penguins, and they had, like Sandra said, so many different expressions and. They were really funny and silly. Mm -hmm. They were a hit. They were definitely having fun in the cold. Oh, yes. And they looked and like having fun. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe not the bored one, but... Uh, no. Trying to give it a bit of shape now. I have it flow that direction and that direction and back and forth. And really, that pedal is just to make it sh make sure it stays in line. And I need to add a bit more black. Oh, I need to make the uh, the, the wings. It's really just painting it on there. Mm -hmm. So as Sandra says, she's adding the wings to the back side of the pelican. Pelican. 
Yep. Or the puffin. Yep. <laughs> the that, pelican. I know. I, I'm, I'm talking about that sugar too. <laughs> pelican, puffin, penguins. <laughs> it's all with the peas, right? All with the peas. With yep. The peas. And they're all birds. <laughs> different. So different. Yeah. Now she's going to start with the head. Well, that's going to be the, the, the neck first. The neck. I want to attach a bit more of the black before I go on with some white on the head. But this was a bit com more complex than with a, with a flying one. But mm -hmm. I still think it, it looks better that way. White is a, it's now it's not the whole uh, head, it's just kind of the inner part. And on the outside it's all black, so I'm gonna add a layer of black. Give it some direction with the pedal. And it's on here. Put more on the back. Getting there. Yeah, I can see it. Mm -hmm. Can you guys see that? So like she said, she had attached a little bit of white yeah. onto the body to form the head and the neck, and then she melted the black glass over the white. Exactly, and then pushed it all together and let it a little bit down so that it it has that right neck, sh neck head shape that I want to for the whole piece. So the blue glass that you guys just saw. That's already the eyes. The eyes. Yeah. And she's taking this ice pick looking tool right. to mm -hmm. rake the eyes and give them some shape. Still have to write the pupils. And then we do the beak. Oops. Oh, popping glass. Yep. That shoots a bit. That's it. Also the, the gray? The, the gray and the, and the also the um, beige. Ah. Uh. bit.
So in Sandra's right hand is the orange glass that you guys saw in the beginning of the video where she pulled a different diameter of orange glass rod to make smaller so that she could do the feet and the beak. Finishing the beef off. And then it's done so far. Um, now it has to cool down. And what I do in, at the end is I take it and I reheat the feet down here so I can still move them a bit and then make sure that it really stands on these feet. Well, guys, there you have it. If you haven't seen this cute little waddly guy before, make sure you go to our website and check him out. If you want to have one delivered to your home, make sure you can you order it online. Our website is wgkglass.com. Also, if you like what you've seen and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button below. We appreciate you guys watching. Take care.